Happy Tuesday, everyone. It is Mel from Mel Moore Nursery. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you're new, and welcome if you have been coming back time and time again. Thank you ever so much. I have brought on Sweet Sam, who is a Sam Sculpt by Gudrun Legler. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Look at this sculpt, folks. Uh, super sweet, super popular sculpt. He's got his little pug dog with him right here and um yeah wow Tuesday I always say I'm a week older on a Tuesday folks if you know me by now uh, that's what I am a week older my goodness um so today I am going to dress this little guy he's He's uh, he's a small newborn, and today is Tiny Reborn Tuesday, um, which uh, I host myself. And um, he is, because of his bent legs, he is quite tiny. So he's about 18 and a half inches long, but then he's got these bent legs. And he's in this gorgeous uh, two-piece outfit that... Um, um, what was the shop? I'll put it in the link below. There was a shop that I ordered from, unless it comes to me during this conversation. But um, the outfit I'm going to dress him in is also from that same place. Oh, my goodness. I really wish I could remember it. It was such a busy day yesterday, folks, that I'm just spinning and whirling. But it's this two-piece outfit here. These little dungaree overalls, they're white with the um, blue stripes across it and the kangaroo pocket. And it's got uh, blue or brown buttons on the sides and at the uh, overall part. And it's a blue onesie that snaps down the side. And it's this gorgeous shade of blue. Um, I'm not sure of the shade but it's a little darker than his blanket here. So I think is, I almost want to say this is sea foam blue, but I'm not sure. Um, and of course it matches the stripes on his overalls, which just look like this in the back. And I have another pom-pom hat I'm going to put on him with the Blue little pom-pom. I just love these pom-pom hats. He's got a white one on now. And then he'll have on some white little booties. These are antique booties, folks. Um, they're little white knit antique booties. And I love knits on babies. I especially love antique stuff. So um, whenever I find them, you know. And, and I, I generally can tell... Um, by their construction and how the shape and design is because uh, newer booties have a different uh, usually have a different design than the older style ones and just um, yeah I could just tell that these were made some time ago and it gives history to the booties you know um, that I really enjoy history of babies that have worn them before, or maybe other reborns, but I doubt it. You know, I, I kind of think that these were born, worn by a little uh, newborn at some point. And I just noticed this knot in the strings tying them. So I'm just trying to pull that apart now. So how is everybody doing? I want to thank everybody who um, watched my video yesterday on Sharon's Tag. Uh, over at Life with Sharon, which was a question, why do we work so hard to protect the art of our dolls? And, um, you know, I do I do think that's a really excellent question. And, uh, and I kind of, I know I was kind of like all over the place. I had to have been, um, because I'm telling you folks, I'm just going to take off this pug now. I, I, I've had quite a bit going on, quite a bit. But look at this little fella. I love this outfit. I love this outfit. Now he was um, 
Reborn by Betty Ann Blackburn here in Canada. And I say this every video, but he was a custom made for another mummy and that custom fell through and she put him on eBay and I saw him there and um, I grabbed him up and he's got very, very fuzzy blonde hair, very like short fuzzy hair and he's got a darker complexion and it really works for him, this short cropped fuzzy hair. So, and I love the fact that his skin tone is the way it is. So I'm going to begin to undress him and tell you some things that have been going on. Because uh, a lot, a lot has been going on um, in, prepare, in preparation uh, for my daughter's move. That's one thing. Um... But also, many of you knew that my vehicle had gone in for repairs, and um, I was I was kind of shocked because it was a floating sort of appointment. That's what they do here on the island is have floating appointments, which simply means that the dealership gives you an appointment time, but um, until another car is completed and off the lot, they don't have many parking spots. So. Uh, they give you a floating appointment time and, you know, I had to wait quite a long time for my appointment and I was actually really shocked to get that appointment time. So, um, let's see, is Sarah a little? Yeah, there's some stamps here. Um, oh, it's Heidi Boo. That's right. Heidi Boo was the um, person that I ordered these clothes from. Now, Heidi Boo um, is, I've done a couple of videos, if you look down my videos on my Heidi Boo hauls, and you get 20 pieces for 40 pounds. Okay, so whatever that converts to in your currency. And these are thick, thick, thick pants. Thick lined pants. And they are nutmeg. Newborn. And they're just glorious. They've got these working pockets on the side, on the sides here. I just love this little outfit. And then it came with this top as well. But yeah, Heidi Boo is... So these clothes that I'm about to put on Sweet Sam today fall under new doll clothes, which is, of course, Jay's hashtag over at... Uh, J Dolls UK. So, I mean, there's so many clothes. Now, I've been like doing a lot of organizing of the reborn items, and um, there is quite a few clothes that will be new doll clothes because you forget you have them. They come in box openings or, you know, um, things like that. And I start pulling them out, and I think, oh, and it's going to be even more so when I start doing like onesie Wednesday more often. and you know, because onesies, you know, you have new packs. So, um, I mean, literally, I hate that. I just snapped a nail. Huh. And isn't it the way, you know, like they don't snap clean across. So I'm glad it didn't bleed or anything. Um, so, yes, my car went in last Monday. And at that time, I was thinking to myself, well, um, there was so much other things going on last week. That's when my daughter was first, like, well, um, I think that's when she was first brought into the hospital. My mind's a little foggy, folks, so please give me a little give on this. And, um, yeah, so, um, there was, there was a lot going on last week. Let's just say that my, my other daughter was planning to go to Vancouver um, to a concert to check out more apartments. And um, yeah, so a week ago today, my daughter would have been, you know, waking up in a couple hours to head off to, I mean, because right now it's three in the morning. So um, the night before, as many of you know, I, I stay up at night. Um, writing and working and doing that kind of um, deal. So, um, 
I just also wanted to extend my condolences to Donna from um, just um, what's your channel name, Donna? Um, in love with reborns, I think. No. I love reborns, something like that. Uh, she's in the UK, folks, and she just lost her mom. And my condolences and my heartfelt prayers go out to her and her sister and their family um, for losing their mom on Monday. Um, it's a hard thing to go through, losing a family member. It truly is. And so I just, just wanted to put that out there. Um, and put my own little um, prayers out there in the world that she's doing okay. Okay, this nail of mine is really not going to let me pull anything down without me trimming it a bit. I don't know if I can. So, um... What else? Yeah, so, as I was saying, my car went in. I didn't know at the time um, how I was even going to get it home from the dealership. I really, I had no clue at that point because the only one that dro drove in the family is my daughter and my son-in-law. And I was thinking they were going to be busy when it was fixed. Well, it took literally a week for, for them to fix it. They don't work on weekends, um, the dealership here. So it was fixed yesterday. Now, as it turned out, um, I have an occupational therapist. I have a nurse practitioner. I have a lot of things going on. And um, the uh, occupational therapist uh, did sign off on papers for me to go and do my driving test, folks. So I know I'm... I'm like, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that this was sort of something that I'd been waiting on. And um, it's been a long time since I've been able to drive since the surgery. And then, of course, my vehicle died. It was in my, my driveway. And so I was waiting for this floating appointment. Well, um, maybe we're going to have to put these socks back on you, little man, I think. That's his little feet. That's his little feet. I love his coloring. I love this sculpt. I mean, oh my goodness. The blonde hair. Let me just whip him around just so you guys can see him from a different angle. He's weighted beautifully, folks. Let's turn your head, little man. Look at him. Just gorgeous. Just a gorgeous little guy. Oh, <laughs> we're turning you all the way around. Yeah. One day I'll tell you about the blonde and the boy's hairs and why I'm so partial to blonde and little boy's hairs. But look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. So, um, so yeah, my, my, My occupational therapist, bless her heart, signed the forms that allowed me to go. And uh, because of my situation, I had to go actually retake the driving test. So um, so that happened yesterday morning that she had to come by because she had to come by for some other paperwork as well. And um, so she signed those off. And then... Uh, I'd gone down because my daughter had Sunday and Monday off. My daughter that's moving, she had Sunday and Monday off. So she came down with me and I booked the appointment. And luckily, because it was a Monday, uh, it wasn't too busy. So I got my driving test done, folks. And um, this was all before lunch yesterday morning. All before lunch yesterday morning. So like there was a lot going on. The day before, we had just been, like, cleaning up and, like, decluttering and getting bags and stuff ready. And, I mean, at that point, I had no idea what was going on with the vehicle. 
but I knew that certain things had to just go. You know what I'm saying? I, I, when I get to the point where I just need clutter to go, I just need it to go. So I just got home from doing the driver's test, which I passed. I passed with flying colors, thankfully. I mean, um, I do have a balance issue, but balance doesn't bother me when I'm in a vehicle. And um, I have some other issues, of course, but as long as I'm able to control and drive a vehicle, it's perfectly fine. And um, so um, I'm going to put these little booties on them now. So I just got in the door with my daughter and I guess maybe 15, 20 minutes had passed and the phone rang and it was the Dodge dealership and the car was fixed folks like the car was fixed <laughs> like and i couldn't believe it so uh my daughter and i hopped back on the bus and went down and picked up the vehicle and let me tell you i think i was more like i don't know i was in a state of shock i really was in a state of shock my daughter kept saying to me mom do you believe this like the timing of this like you must be ecstatic and i i kept saying i'm just so grateful like i'm so grateful um so yes i uh i got the vehicle paid that bill um so uh, that was a lot of money folks they had to um they had to put a new battery in it. They had to bypass the tip-in, which is a part of the vehicle that um, that controls the alternator in some way. They, they put in this piece that went around the alternator and then they put a brand new fuel pump in. And yeah, the grand total of that was $3,000. So, but she works, she works. She's not a lemon, she works. And I cannot tell you how absolutely wonderful that makes me feel. Now, part of me is looking at this. Like, I think that would, this, this hat, this white hat would just make him look like too much white on his booties and on his hat. What do you think, little man? Hmm. What do you think? I love this sculpt. The face of this sculpt. So from that point, um, my daughter and I were able to take down lots of donations. Oh, I think I like the blue better. Yeah, I think I do. I like the blue better. And he's got this little teddy bear toy with the blue uh, blue little blanket that says, thank heaven for little boys at the bottom. And it's got a little check. And this bear makes some sort of sound. Now, I threw the whole thing in the wash. That's why I don't know if it's supposed to make that sound or not. But it does. So he's got that little bear. And this sculpt is just magical. And I've got a little Winnie the Pooh pacifier for him, which this is another sculpt too that I don't like to put pacifiers in my mouth very often. And because of his like little face and nose, um, one has, the magnet has to be placed just perfectly, if you can tell, so that he can, there's, clear area there for space for his nose so he doesn't really need that he doesn't need that at all but I just wanted to pull one out and show you all so yeah exciting day exhausting day and I have still so much paperwork to fill in folks um, I'm going to be up for hours I think now uh, doing that that is fine and I just wanted to bring on the Sam Sculpt by Gudrun Leichler. Um, he is the fraternal twin of Kai, and I do have them both, different artists. Um, and 
So, folks, I was going to tell you the name of my grandson. And uh, there was only a couple of guesses in there. And I thank you for trying to guess, but I kind of knew you wouldn't. And it's so funny because um, the name was actually taken from one of my own pieces of work that I wrote um, as a character. And my daughter really liked that piece that I wrote. And um, his name is Atlas, folks. My grandson's name is Atlas. And... Um, I think it's a wonderful name, an absolute wonderful name. So what's interesting is that my son-in-law has a name with three letters in it. My daughter has a name with four letters in it. And my grandbaby boy has a name with five letters in it. And his name is Atlas. Yeah, he was seven pounds, eight ounces. And he is a week, no, he is six days old today. Uh, he's dropped just about two ounces. Babies in the beginning do drop some weight. Um, so yeah, he's dropped a couple of, of ounces, but that's okay. They're doing well. He's, he's, um, he's a good baby, but he's like all babies. He wants to be, you know, fed and hugged and loved and, um, kept comfortable. Just like this little man here <laughs> with his big old hat on and his lovey. There he is there. Oh, he's adorable. Well, I will let you guys all go. Thank you ever so much for popping in and coming to see me. And um, I hope you liked what you see. And, and uh, please don't forget to hit the like button, folks, and leave me a comment. Um, I've been doing my best to get to them lately, so, um, and I've been trying to watch more videos. I, I do uh, watch quite a bit on the TV when I'm puttering about my day. It's just a matter of me uh, going back and leaving comments. Um, I know I'm not the only one that, that watches videos on TV or puts it on in the background as I'm doing stuff, so, um, but I just wanted to say, remember folks, that we're perfectly imperfect, you are loved, needed, and wanted, and um, have a blessed and beautiful day, everybody. Please be safe out there, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye for now.